six yard pickup ball spotted at the 42 it's second and four for the Giants Sims still has it looking deep down the right side for Bob, for Lionel Manuel he's got it touchdown 10 receiver and here you see it it's a straight go pattern by Lionel Manuel right down the field Phil drops the ball right up there right into his hand great catch by Lionel Manuel being covered by Bobby Butler the former uh, excuse me it's Bobby Butler from uh, Florida State great catch by Lionel great deal of concentration on the ball and when he hits the ground he holds on bounces into the end zone for the touchdown Rutledge will hold and Eric Schubert will attempt the extra point And the kick is good. 3.28 to go in the first quarter. The Giants get on the board first on the 42-yard touchdown pass from Phil Sims to Lionel Manuel. Here we see it again. It's a straight go pattern by Lionel Manuel. Here you see him running right by Bobby Butler. And Phil Sims doing what he does best with throwing the ball out there, letting him run to the ball. Great concentration there by Lionel. He drags it in, though. Touchdown for the Giants. Sims offensive yardage with a noticeable pickup. He had been two for four for 10 yards. Now he's three for five for 52. And that certainly has to make Phil Parcell happy. As I said, uh, at the start, one of the positions that he is most concerned about is that wide receiver spot. Lionel Manuel is one guy who's set. He's got a spot on the roster. Lionel Manuel, Stacy Robinson, Byron Williams, they can all run deep. They have a ball, a long ball caught for 45 yard touchdown pass. That's the kind of thing an offense loves to have happen versus driving the ball down the field in 15 plays or 10 plays. One pass, 45 yard touchdown, makes for a real nice evening. Eric Schubert, who was in high school when the Giants found him last year, teaching and being an assistant coach. He got off to a great start and then kind of. Uh, Faltered late in the season. Sylvester Stamp, number 29. Keith Williams, number 35, received for the Falcons. Schubert to kick off. High kick coming down to Sylvester Stamp, one yard deep. Out of room for Stamp. Still on his feet at the 35. Up to the 40 yard line. Byron Hunt, no end. He hits it for the moment. But a good run back by Sylvester Sam, third year man out of Jackson State. He's not a big one, 5'7", 175, but he sure can run with it. He takes the ball, finds the opening there. Good block by his fullback. Cuts back, Tyrone Davis misses the tackle here. Good job of keeping his feet here. Pepper Johnson overruns him, cuts back, holds his balance again. And here comes Andy Hedden to make the tackle. Good job overfield running by Sylvester Sam. Bought the ball to 39, make it a 40-yard return by Sam. First and 10 for the Falcons. Anthony Allen in motion. William Andrews carrying across the 40-yard line. Leonard Marshall in on the stop as you look at Sylvester Sam. Picked up as a free agent by the Falcons. The Giants scoring drive. Two minutes, 34 seconds. Five plays, 68 yards. Ball spotted just across the 41-yard line. Second and eight for the Falcons. Dave Archer, still at quarterback. They'll be splitting the time with Turk Schonert as they battle for the number one spot for the Falcons. Schonert came over in a trade with the Cincinnati Bengals. We'll see him in the second half. Cliff Benson coming in motion. Archer to the right side. Caught by Anthony Allen. Knocked out of bounds by Elvis Patterson at the Giants 46 yard line. It's the first down. Elvis Patterson upset. He thought they were out of bounds. Out of bounds. Yes. That's the ruling. Gary Lane, the side judge, played pro football himself, the quarterback. Stephen Brown's New York Giants. Here's the catch. The official felt that if he would have come down right there, even though the player wouldn't have hit him, he would have been out of bounds. He would not have gotten both feet in bounds. Looks like Patterson carried him out, though. It's a judgment call. And, uh... Now, we should mention that this year, the NFL will be using a replay rule. It is not being used tonight. I believe in here in Atlanta, it'll be used in two weeks. 
And that looks like Anthony Allen, who was hit hard by Elvis Patterson on the play, shaken up in front of the Giants bench. They'll be using it two weeks here in Atlanta. The replay rule, a replay official will be up in the press box this season. He will look at plays similar to that one. And he can overrule the play. Anthony Allen being led to the sideline. Second year man out of Washington. Sixth round pick in 1983. Pass ruled incomplete. It is third and eight for the Falcons at the 41 yard line. Now that would be an example of an instant replay situation where they could in fact go back and check it out with the uh, replay official. Not tonight, but in, in the regular season. Charlie Brown, number 89. Dave Archer brings the Falcons to the line on third and long. Giants have five defensive backs in the lineup. Virgil C, number 48, is wide to the left. Ken Wisenhunt, 45, is in motion. Archer with time over the middle and a crowd of Giants. Kenny Hill was there. Carl Banks and Elvis Patterson surrounding Charlie Brown. And the pass incomplete. Dangerous pass by Dave Archer. Seemed like he wanted to fire it in there. There's a flag on the play, though, and maybe against the Giants. Here we see it again. I do think Dave Archer's forcing the ball inside. You've got three guys covering him, and luckily he was not intercepted. Kennedy was against the Giants, I think. It's a holding call, and it's a first down for the Atlanta Falcons. So a break for the Falcons. Moves the ball to the 46-yard line. Two minutes, 16 seconds to go in the first quarter. William Andrews, the lone setback for the Falcons. Archer still has it on the deep drop, swings it out to Cliff Benson, number 87. Got away from Taylor, then was tripped up by Harry Carson. Taylor did not make the tackle there, but he did his job. He slowed the guy up enough to get pursued over. Here's it again. It's a little drop-off pass to the backside. Vincent comes back to get the ball. Taylor covering the receiver. Does not make the tackle, but you see here, he makes him stop long enough for suit to get there, and you see four or five blue shirts right in the picture now, finishing him off. Pick up of three on the play, spot the ball to 49, it's second and seven. Andrews carries in the Giants territory to the 48-yard line. Lawrence Taylor makes the stop on William Andrews. What's the most difficult part about coming back from an injury like Andrews? Really not knowing, it's, it's psychological, it's mental. When you have a knee operation, you're definitely gonna favor it somewhat until you get in the game situation and in fact get hit by a guy as hard as being hit right there. Until you're sure your knee is sound, in the contact of the game, you really won't wipe out that mental, mental block you may have after an operation or an injury. So I think he wants to get as much work as he can right here, get as much contact, improve himself mentally, he's ready to play football. Third and five. Archer going deep down the right side, overthrows his man Floyd Dixon. Giants had five defensive backs in on the play. He overthrew Floyd Dixon. And fourth down coming up at the 48-yard line. Giants have two preseason games at Giants Stadium. Saturday, August 23rd at 8 p.m. against the Jets. And Saturday, August 30th against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Plenty of good seats are still available for both games. Tickets can be purchased at the Giants ticket office at Giants Stadium between gates A and B at the Meadowlands Arena and at all Ticketmaster outlets in the tri-state area. Giants and the Jets on the 23rd. Giants and the Steelers on the 30th. Both games at Giants Stadium at 8 o'clock. Rick Donnelly, third punt of the game. McConkey standing back at his own 10-yard line. Donnelly, high kick comes down to McConkey at the 18. And is swarmed under. Aaron Brown, number 52, with a big hit on McConkey. 34-yard punt for Rick Donnelly and the Giants, leading 7-0 with 36 seconds to go in the first quarter. Go on offense once again. Time left in the quarter. Giants' next preseason game will be a week from Saturday 
August 16th in Milwaukee against the Green Bay Packers. We'll be on the air at 8 o'clock live. The Giants and the Packers. Rusan and Carthon in the backfield with Phil Sims. Maurice Carthon gets away from Joel Williams, but is tripped up and gets back up to the 20-yard line. Picked up about a yard on the play. So Joel Williams, one of the two linebackers, picked up from Philadelphia. You see Lee Rusan missing his block on the inside here by Joel Williams. Here he comes inside, misses the block. That's what causes Carthon to get stopped in the backfield. But a good job of running, keeping his balance here. Here again, Lee Rusan misses block. Joel Williams got inside, messed up the play, but did a good job of getting a yard or two on And the first quarter has come to an end here in Atlanta's Fulton County Stadium. The first preseason game between the Giants and the Falcons. End of the first quarter, Giants 7, Falcons nothing. Rosen and Bobby Duhon, Atlanta's Fulton County Stadium is the site. Giants second and nine on their own 20 as we start the second quarter. Sims going short and completing to Favaro, the tight end. Tom Pridemore, number 27, making the stop. It's the first down. So Mark Favaro has caught two passes from Phil Sims. You see Lee Russon, might not see me a picture, but he clears out the right side, and Mark Favaro gets his own, finds the opening here. Good pass from Phil Sims for first down. Giants had 77 total yards in the first quarter to 26 for the Falcons. On first down, delay to Russon with a big hole up to the 39-yard line. Good work by the offensive line as Russon picks up eight on the play. Aaron Brown, number 52, making the stop. On Lee Rusan. We said earlier, there, here you see him again, we said earlier, the great job the offensive line did last year for Joe Morris. Here's Lee Rusan picking up where he left off. Following those big linemen down the field for eight-yard gain. Benson, Ard, Oates, Godfrey, and Nelson across the line from left to right. Lionel Manuel in motion. Maurice Carthon gets away from Mike Gann and gets a first down. Gann had him, but he slipped away. Reggie Wilkes made the tackle. Good work by Carthon. Good reaction off of a uh, missed block there, taking on Gann and getting by him for the first down. All spotted at the 44-yard line. And the Giants showing good running game thus far. A couple of injured Falcons in this game. Mike Pitts went out with the rib injury. So did Anthony Allen. Sims still has it. Plenty of time to Rusan at midfield. And down to the 48-yard line. Buddy Curry made the stop. Bill Sims with plenty of time and good protection found Lee Rusan open. 
Lee was a safety valve on the play, but he was open, and Phil Wisely dropped it off to him for about a seven-yard gain. Sims now five for seven, 70 yards. It's second and three for the Giants. Inside the 44, Rusan going for it and getting it. First down, Giants across the 45-yard line. Mike Gann made the stop along with Buddy Curry. Spot the ball at the Falcon 43-yard line as the Giants moving the ball on the ground. Giants looking for their third straight winning season. The last time they had three winning seasons in a row were 61 through 63. Carthon carries that right side of the line doing a great job for the Giants. Carl Nelson and Chris Godfrey doing what they do well, blocking. And they, they're big, they're strong, and you saw Maurice Carthon there cut back to the right side and just follows big guys down the field for a six-yard gain. And one thing you notice is the Giants using Carthon, using the fullback more in the offense. As I said earlier, George Adams will play a big role in their offense this year. He runs well inside and outside. He catches the ball well, and he's a very good blocker. Ball spotted at the 38-yard line, second and four for the Giants. Rusan carries off the right side. Gann grabbed the hold and rode him down at the 35-yard line. Aaron Brown also went on the stop. You look at big Mike Gann, 6'5", 265. Second year man out of Notre Dame. Second round draft pick in 1985. Good block by Maurice Carth on the right side there on the linebacker. Lee Rusan cuts up. Gains about three. Third and a long one for the Giants at the 35 yard line. Third and a yard and a half. Moat tight left end. Vito Cab in motion. Giants have three tight ends in there. And Carthon right up the middle, rips off five yards for a first down. Defensive line coach Lamar Leachman has got to be pleased. Here we see Maurice Carthon following Lee Rousson and Billy Yard up the middle for the first down. Good job of power running by Maurice Carthon. Ball spotted just across the 30-yard line as the Giants with a good drive here that began on their own 19-yard line. And they have eaten up five minutes of the second quarter. Rousson grabbed in the backfield by Gann. Somebody missed the block up front. Mike Gann got in and threw Rousson for a five-yard loss. Good play by Mike Gann. Showing good quickness. He's big. You see it here coming inside. You see... Carl Nelson missed the block. You see, he took a step to the outside thinking Gann would go that way, but Gann went inside. As a result, tackle in the backfield. All spotted at the 35-yard line. Second down, they call it 16. Tim, everybody out over the middle, and it's caught by Bobby Johnson. Johnson. To the 15-yard line. Johnson inside the 10, still on his feet. Touchdown! Great running by Bobby Johnson after making the catch over the middle. It's a 35-yard touchdown play. Sims to Johnson. Plenty of time to throw the football. Look at the protection Phil gets from offensive line. Just great time looking for the receiver. A great pass to Bobby Johnson. After he gets it, missed tackle. Knows what to do with the ball. Put it in his arm and cut back. Good block here by Mark Bavaro, you see in a second here. On number 20, there he is right there. Took out two players, and Bobby Johnson picks up Lee Rousson's block and takes it into the goal line. 13 points for the Giants. Ali Haji Sheik will attempt the extra point. And the kick is good. So the Giants hold possession for about six minutes since taking over late in the first quarter. 9-10 to go, second quarter, Giants 14, Falcons nothing.
Okay. Here you see Bobby Johnson again, cutting across the middle. Bobby Butler trying to chase him. Missed tackle over the middle by the safety. Bobby Johnson makes a good job running with the football. Here you see the block by Mark Favaro. Takes out two players right here. Cuts back up, and there's Lee Roussan doing the other fine job of blocking the goal line. Bobby 81, Johnson. 81-yard drive for the Giants in 11 plays. And really a good drive that was mixed up well with uh, running and passing, Bobby. Absolutely. He had good uh, inside running with Maurice Carthon and Lee Roussan. And good passing by Phil Sims to his receiver. Giants with 157 yards total offense of the game. Falcons just 26. Ali Haji Sheik teeing it up. Phil Sims has had an outstanding first half. Six for eight, 105 yards, two touchdown passes. The big play has burned the Falcons. 42-yard touchdown pass to Lionel Manuel. And the 35-yard play, Sims to Bobby Johnson. Williamson stamps deep for Atlanta. It's Sylvester stamps at the two. Gets away from one man. Stamps gets to the outside of the 30. Stamps across the 40 and out of bounds. Another fine run back by Sylvester Stamps, who had a 40-yard return earlier. This one a little more. Watch it again. We see it again. Something Giants do not want to have happen. Have breakdown special teams. Perry Williams has the outside responsibility here. You see Stamps cut outside of number 23. Here it is. 23 heads outside. He lets Sylvester make that move to the outside. Gains an extra 10 or 15 yards. Mitchie makes a tackle, but he should have stopped him by 15 yards further back. 38-yard return for Sylvester Stamp. Falcons first and 10 at the 40-yard line. Dave Archer is the quarterback. That's Benson in motion. William Andrews, the lone setback. Archer gets out of the pocket, throws short. It's to Arthur Cox, the tight end. He gets away from one man, Kenny Hill, rides him down. But it's a first down in Giants territory at the 46-yard line. Arthur Cox, the fourth-year tight end out of Texas Southern. Good to see the pass again to Bobby Johnson. Perfect pass over the linebacker's head. Bobby Johnson takes it from there. Cutting back to pick up a blocker. Blocker being Mark Rivaro. You see him here taking out two defenders. Lee Roussan taking out the third. 35-yard touchdown pass to Bobby Johnson. And a little nifty tightrope walking by Johnson as he tiptoes into the end zone. Back to the Falcons offense. Benson again in motion. On first down, William Andrews. On the 45-yard line. Leonard Marshall. Here you see Mar Marion Campbell, the former Eagle coach, who was responsible for building the old purple Peter people eaters defense in Minnesota and the fearsome foursome with the Rams. He's a great defensive uh, strategist. He can do a lot with a little bit of talent. He did that at Philadelphia. And the Falcons need defensive help. He was once a head coach here in Atlanta, right. too. He's already he, back. He switched the Falcons from a 4-3 to a 3-4 this season. Pickup of about two on the play. Second down at eight. Cliff Austin in the backfield now. Flags go down. Whistle stop the play. All kinds of motion. And they check out. All star. The referee is Tom Dooley making the call. Bill Fralick was in motion on the play. Easy. Mike Gore making the move a little bit too soon. Back to the 50-yard line it goes. And call it second and 13 for the Falcons. Giants leading 14 to nothing with 7.58 to go in the first half. A look at Mike Ken, the starting offensive tackle. He's been replaced. Benson in motion. The rush is on. Archer is slipped away from Taylor and finally brought down by Jim Burke. A flag is now in the backfield, which would indicate holding on the Falcons. Good rush by Taylor. Taylor in there, what he does so well is rush that passer. It's hard to block Lawrence Taylor. He's such a great athlete. The size he has. Usually have offensive linemen trying to stop him. He got by and again impeded the play of the offense and uh, help came in the name of Jim Burke. The penalty is illegal motion on the Falcons. Got an illegal shift. Two offensive members moving at the same time. Penalty is declined. Third down. Okay. Giants with the sack. 
take the play, and the Falcons move back to the 38-yard line. They've got to make it down to the Giants' 37. Third and 25. Giants send in five defensive backs, three linebackers. George Martin, Leonard Marshall, and Jim Burt up front. Dan Henning, the head coach of the Falcons. Benson, Cliff Benson in motion. The handoff is to William Andrews. Collided with Carl Banks. And then was also brought down by Lawrence Taylor. Andrews up to the 47-yard line, way short of a first down. I think one thing that Coach Henning was happy to see there is the way William Andrews ran with the ball with a little daylight. He saw an opening there, and he took it from there, ran another 10 yards. He ran with authority, which is what Dan Henning wants to see from William Andrews. Bill McConkey is deep for the Giants at the 10-yard line. Rick Donnelly will punt, standing at his own 32. High kick, way up, fair catch called for. McCarkey lets it bounce, and the Falcons down it at the five-yard line. Aaron Brown, number 52. Linebacker got down in a hurry. Good kick by the man who led the NFC in punting. 48-yard punt for Rick Donnelly. Bobby Johnson scored on the last Giants drive. Giants take over on offense in a moment. and Bobby Duhon at Atlanta's Fulton County Stadium. Anyone interested in renting a home or apartment to Giants players during the season should send the details in writing to Janice Gavazzi, New York Giants, Giants Stadium, East Rutherford, New Jersey, 07073. Giants certainly appreciate your help in getting apartments or houses for Giants players. Fifth possession of the game for the Giants and a few changes. Jeff Hostetler will be in at quarterback. His running backs will be Van Williams, number 45, and Mark Corbin, number 29. There is Jeff Hostetler, third-year man out of West Virginia. Giants first and 10 on the five-yard line. Corbin hit immediately. Mark Corbin, number 29, a free agent out of Central State in Ohio. You see... Corbin had no chance here. He just see the linebacker coming in. Ronnie Washington, that's it right on the tail. Loss of a yard on the play. Eric Bailey, number 97, is also in at a tight end for the Giants. Vince Warren, number 83, wide receiver left, and Byron Williams, number 87, wide to the right, top of the screen. Hostetler still with it. Near side for Vince Warren. Takes it out of bounds, just short of a first down. At the 14-yard line, Scott Case, number 25, who's been moved from safety to cornerback, made the stop. Good pass by Jeff Hostetler here. Falcons are man-to-man -man on the back side. This one was a good square out pattern. The ball is right there on the money. It was a good job of keeping his feet inbound. Close to first down for the Giants. Third and, third and one. Bill Sims had an outstanding first half while he was in there. Six for eight for 105 yards and two touchdowns. Now it's Jeff Hostetler on third and one. Vito Cab number 82 in motion. Corbin carrying, doesn't get there. 
Wild up short of a first down. Mike Gann, number 76, leading the charge. Andrew Province, number 72. Willard Goff, number 70. And the rest of the Falcons pile it up. Giants will be forced to punt. Here you see it again. Not much running room for, for Corbin, but you've got to take the ball up the field. Third inches. Don't start running laterally. Run across straight down towards your uh, lineman. Don't run down the field in a third inch situation. Brian Wagner, number nine, is in the punt for the Giants. Professor Stamps is deep. Brian Wagner, first year man out of Cal State Northridge. 6'2", 195, signed as a free agent. Standing at the goal line, and we've got a penalty flag on the play. Too much time, delay of the game. Giants will be penalized five yards and make the punt. Delay of game, tougher. number nine offense, fourth down. Bill Parcells not happy with the delay, wants to know what caused it. Ball moves back to the nine yard line. Giants lead 14 to nothing, 8.05 to go in the second quarter. And Brian Wagner backs up. The Giants 49 yard line. Wagner gets off the kick. Stamps runs up, takes it on the run at the 47. Across the 40, across the 35. Still on his feet to the Giants 22 yard line. Another outstanding return by Sylvester Stamps. And he hadn't finally made the stop, but Stamps broke three tackles as he came down the sideline. 38 yard punt, 25 yard return for Sylvester Stamps. And right now, if there is a cause for concern for the Giants, it's been the return coverage. We have 8.06 to go, first quarter, Giants leading 14 to nothing. Look at this return by Sylvester Stamps. It was a good high kick by Brian Warren. This bad job of covering by the Giants. He gets outside, which you can't let happen on a punt return. Sloppy tackling here. Makes a nice cut. Bounce off of Brian, Byron Hunt. He tries to pull his helmet off, but Andy Head brings it down with the harsh return. So the Falcons, excellent field position. And Archer hands to Cliff Austin, who pushes his way across the 20 to the 18-yard line. Giants have changed their entire defensive unit. We'll pick it up for you as we go. The tackle on the play by Jeff Toodle, number 90, number 91, and Stanley Scott, number 99. Up front for the Giants, rookie John Washington, Ramsey Darter, and Stanley Scott. Washington 73, Darter 95, Scott 99. Linebackers are Roy Swope, Number 93, Jeff Toodle, number 91, Jerry Kimmel, number 90, and Casey Merrill, number 71. Dave Archer. Second and six, Archer still has it and rolls out. Across the 15 and across the 10, first down, Dave Archer put it on his hip and took it around the left side. Do you 
see the bootleg, the old bootleg play by the John, by the uh, Falcon. And he takes out number 93, who is Ray Swope. And then here, soft the races, a good job pursuing by the Giants defensive back. But Ray Swope did a no-no as a linebacker, letting that quarterback fake you on a bootleg. Mark Collins, number 25, second-round draft pick, one of four second-round picks for the Giants this year, making the stop, first and goal at the nine, with 2.10 to go in the first half. Cliff Austin carrying for the five, touchdown! Casey Merrill playing linebacker, getting held up by the tight end here. That's his job. That's his man, his responsibility. Cliff Austin did a good job of finding that hole and taking inside for a touchdown. As we said, Casey Merrill's playing linebacker, trying to make the ball cover the linebacker. You see the play again. Running down the line, finding a hole that Casey Merrill created by being blocked by the tight end, takes it inside for six points. Casey Merrill being tried as a linebacker. Uh, it'll be tough for him to make the team as a linebacker. Mike. Prindle, sorry, Bobby. Mike Prindle for the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7 with 2.08 to go in the first half. Casey Merrill uh, had been used as a down lineman in pass rush situations. And I guess uh, the Giants figuring maybe to make use of his pass rushing ability from the outside, use him as a stand up on the outside. I think so. He, you know, he was late coming to camp last year, got a slow start. 86, 85 season. Eric Dorsey, if he does sign the Giants, another defensive lineman for them, a big one. They feel like they don't need more defensive line help. They need maybe uh, give Casey a chance to play in linebacker. And again, they have a great linebacking core without uh, Casey. A lot of young kids, a lot of established veterans. Two preseason games coming up at Giants Stadium. Games three and four on the preseason schedule. August 23rd. The Giants and the Jets, August 30th, the Giants and the Steelers, Saturday nights at 8 o'clock. Tickets are available, plenty of good seats for both games. Tickets can be purchased at Giants Ticket Office at Giants Stadium between Gates A and B, at the Meadowlands Arena, and at all Ticketmaster outlets in the Tri-State area. Mike Prindle will kick off. Mick Luckhurst is the number one kicker for the Falcons and not in danger of losing his job. Prindle getting a look with a high kickoff to Kenny Hill at the five-yard line. Tripped up, rolled forward across the 20. It was David Crudup on the tackle, number 30, defensive back. Minute 59 to go in the first half. Timeout on the field, Giants 14, Falcons 7. Offensive line in the first half is the center, number 59, Brian Johnson. Jeff Hostetler, the quarterback. Van Williams, number 45. Mark Corbin, number 29, the running backs. Hostetler. It's a block from Art. It's knocked down. The ball is loose. Corbin picks it up. 
Corbin slips away and gets back near the line of scrimmage. Dangerous move picking up the bouncing ball, but uh, he got away with that one. He did. That's one thing you don't want to do, especially down there, is try to pick up and run with it. Get down there and cover it and be happy to get the ball back. You see uh, Hostetler going to hit the back side here. Corbin taking the fake. Jeff tries to go up front with it to get the ball slapped out of his hand by Gann, by Gann. And Carbon here comes and tries to pick it up. Rookie mistake, ball on the ball. All you want to do is take the ball and drop on it and just happy to get the ball back. Big break for the uh, Giants. Timeout on the field. Called by the Falcons with a minute 39 to go in the first half. The Falcons scoring drive. Three plays, 22 yards following the punt return by Sylvester Stamps. Stamps has had two punt returns for 34 yards, two kickoff returns for 78 yards. Jeff, has, Jeff Hostetler with Pat Hodgson. Marion Campbell talking to Aaron Brown. The Falcons talk defense. To say Jeff Hostetler in a difficult position. He did not play it down last season. And I think uh, the Giants have to be uh, deciding whether they want to go with three quarterbacks or not. Absolutely. He's a third year player from West Virginia. They want to see if he can play. I think they really think that the second, uh, second team will be Jeff Rutledge from Alabama. They want to see what Jeff can do before the second half when you have more players that are uh, in the game, more uh, second and rookies or whatever. They want to see what Jeff can do with a good offensive line in front of him. Solomon Miller, rookie wide receiver, goes in motion. Fumble on the handoff. Van Williams fumbling at the 15, but he recovered his own fumble. Here you see it again. I'm not sure. We'll check the handoff here. A little bit uh, too far from the back. Maybe the back's fall. A little too anxious to get to the hole. Back lane a little bit too far from the quarterback to receive the handoff. Luckily, he recovers on fumble. Hostetler looks a little unsure of himself there. Well, that's true, but you also have a rookie there with him, so it could be somebody, you're not sure who's causing the problem, but the, the rookie makes the quarterback look bad at times like this. Falcons have called timeout again with a minute 31 left in the first half. The Giants third and long. Third and 16. Van Williams, number 45, the running back in the backfield, is a fourth-year man. Played three years with the... Buffalo Bills, he was mostly as a return man, and the Giants picked him up as a free agent. Again, if you join us late, George Adams nursing a slight groin pull. He's out of the lineup, but is on the trip. We'll work out with the team the rest of the week. Joe Morris did not make the trip in a contract dispute. He has not taken part in any contact drills and was left back at the Giants training camp in Pleasantville. Third and 16, Vince Warren comes wide to the left side. Byron Williams is wide to the right. Hand off is to Van Williams. Nice move. And a beautiful run by Van Williams. Looks like he picked up the first down. Kenny Johnson, number 37. Bobby Jackson in on the tackle, but a good run by Van Williams. He makes a nice cut to get away from uh, Brett Clark here. You see him cut back to the inside. Brett Clark thought he had him. Here we go. And with that, he gains another 10 yards. Nice bit of running by Van Williams. Called him a rookie earlier by mistake. He's played for it. It's his fourth year in the league. Nice bit of running, almost a first down. Fourth down for Giants. Just short. Just short of the first down. Went out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Ryan Wagner, high kick, but way short, very short. Bounces at the 45. And is down at the Giants' 45-yard line. A 14-yard, make it a 16-yard punt for Brian Wagner. Hate to see that happen. Here's a guy trying to make a team and coach him a chance to kick it. And here we get to the close to the end of the first half and pops one up. One thing you don't want to have uh, happen to a rookie. Don't forget. Giants will have two games at Giants Stadium, two preseason games, August 23rd against the Jets, August 30th uh, against the Pittsburgh Steelers, and you can get tickets for those games. There are good seats still available 
Market tickets at Giant Stadium between Gates A and B at the Meadowlands Arena and at all Ticketmaster outlets in the tri-state area. Falcons, first and ten. Archer being right, slips away, dumps it off. And a tackle made on the play by Andy Hedden on Sylvester Stamps. Boy, if he doesn't trip him up there, Stamps is gone. He's a little jitterbug, like Mike Shoes Johnson out there, and he almost had a long gainer there. Clock running 55 seconds to go in the first half. Giants lead 14 to 7. Archer being pressured, throws short. Flag on the play. In the middle of the line, maybe holding on the Falcons. Good pressure on the play. Leonard Marshall putting on the big rush as the Giants put the number one defensive unit back in there. Holding is the call, and the Giants will take the penalty. If you talked earlier about the Giants, where they can improve this year from last year after the good season they had, I think defensive pass rush is another area we should look at. Leonard Marshall had a great year, all pro, Telegram pro bowler. Fans. I think Leonard needs some help on the offense, defensive line to get more pressure on the passer to help those defensive backs out in covering receivers. Bill Fralick, second year offensive guard out of Pittsburgh, was called for the hold. The ball is just inside the Giants' 49-yard line, second and 14, with 50 seconds to go. In the first half, the inside handoff at Sylvester Stamps again, and he almost broke loose. It's across the 35-yard line. Kenny Hill, the safety, made the tackle. Otherwise, Stamps has gone for a touchdown. Quick opener right up the middle, and the Giants were caught sleeping. Everybody dropping back to cover their prospective receivers. Here we come back to live action. And the pass attempt blocked by Leonard Marshall. Dave Archer going back at the pass blocked by Leonard Marshall. Fourth year man out of LSU, 6'3", 285. Led the Giants in quarterback sacks last season with third in the league in sacks. We had a terrific year. And as we said earlier, the Giants have a good rushing defense. They have to improve on their passing passing rush. Leonard Marshall can do the job. We need some help from the other fellows. It's fourth and one for the Falcons on the Giants' 35-yard line. 27 seconds to go in the first half. In motion, Charlie Brown. Archer to throw for it. Deep down the right side. Incomplete penalty flag thrown. Ted Watts is called for interference. Falcons will have it first and goal at the seven yard line. Watts went over the back of the intended receiver, Charlie Brown. Good call by the official. Dave Archer going deep, trying to get six points for the half. Here you see Ted Watts reaching over the left hand and pulling down the right hand. He Can't do that. Number 43, first down. First down on the seven yard, six yard line. For the Falcons, big break. Virgil C. was the intended receiver for the Falcons on the play. Ball is spotted at the six-yard line with 22 seconds to go in the first half. On a fourth and one. A pass interference call. Puts the Giants' lead in jeopardy. And Dave Archer brings the team to the line. Charlie Brown in motion. Archer in trouble. Gets rid of it. Touchdown. Sylvester Stamps. There's a question as to whether he had possession. One official ruled yes, went up with a touchdown signal. And that's the discussion. The ball popped out of the hands of Sylvester Stamps. I think it's a touchdown, and the officials do too. He had it. Caught it, was spun around, and then the ball flew out of his hands, but he had it for the TD. And now the Falcons will try to tie it. One of the things they talk about Dave Archer being too quick coming out of the pocket. Does it here, looking for the open receiver. He finds Sylvester. He does have the ball here. He's hit. He made two steps and was hit and fumbled. Touchdown, Falcons. Fourth. Stamps is so quick, too tough to cover for a linebacker. Broken pass play, and you see uh, the result of it. 14-14. The extra point is good by Mike Prindle, and with 15 seconds to go in the first half, we're all tied up. The Giants scored the first two touchdowns. The Falcons have come back, led by Sylvester Stamps. 
is fine punt return set up the first touchdown score a nine yard run by cliff austin and then stamps on the six yard pass from dave archer and the game is tied at 14. archer now five of 11 29 yards one touchdown one interception broken pass play archer comes out of the pocket people start scrambling trying to find an opening and sylvester wisely finds one between elvis patterson and uh, and Gary Reason, six points. Sylvester Stamps on the left, William Andrews on the right. It's been a big game for Sylvester Stamps. Short tied at 14. Mike Prendel, number six, will tee it up to kick off with 15 seconds to go. Pass interference penalty on Ted Watts. Hurt the Giants badly. I think the short punt prior to that pass interference was also when they put them in bad position for the last minute and a half. Prindle, high kick, very short. Coming down around the 20. The barrel took it. Back in with old man Kenny Hill. And finally it's brought down at the 17. Faro looking for any kind of running room, but the lumbering tight end couldn't find it. Brought down by Robert Moore, number 34, defensive back. With nine seconds to go in the first half. Jeff Hostetler still in at quarterback. Van Williams and Mark Corbin are the running backs. Corbin, free agent rookie out of Central State in Ohio. And the Giants will just run out the clock on the one play. Hostetler goes down to one knee, and that will do it. First half comes to an end. The first unit, which played into the second quarter, looked very good for the Giants offensively. Led by Phil Sims. Two good touchdown drives, one of 81 yards. Sims throwing two touchdown passes to Lionel Manuel. And then Bobby Johnson. The Falcons coming back taking advantage of a couple of miscues by the Giants to tie it. And at the end of the first half, here in Atlanta's Fulton County Stadium, it's the Giants 14, the Falcons 14. We'll be back in just a moment.
Testing one, two, one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. Okay. Jim, uh, should we talk a little bit about the first half and then go into the highlights? Okay. Welcome back to Atlanta's Fulton County Stadium. Sam Rose along with Bobby Duhon and certainly some positive signs for the Giants in the first half. But you know, Bobby, in a preseason game like this, one of the toughest things for a coach is you want to win, but you want to give everybody a chance to play. And when the second unit got in there for the Giants, there was some breakdowns. That's right. You, want, you have 85 players in your team. You have four exhibition games. You want to see more of the younger players in the first couple of games than the last two so you can get ready for the beginning of the season. So you're seeing the first quarter, they did well with their offensive line their uh, running game, their passing game. Then they started putting a sprinkling of the younger players, and things will break down. Fumbles, missed assignments, uh, and what have you. So you're seeing that in the second quarter. The biggest breakdowns came on the special teams on the uh, punt return and kick return coverage. That's right. You know, the uh, no one likes to work on special teams, but someone has to do the job. Uh, normally in the season, you'll have some a lot of the starters doing this. In the preseason games, you'll have more of the, uh, the rookies on the special teams. You didn't see good pass uh, punt coverage. You didn't see good punting. You didn't see good kickoff coverage. Right. As a result of that, it's a tie ball game. Okay, now the positive signs. Offensively, the Giants moved the ball very well. Phil Simms, as we said right away, looking very good right from the start. I've always been a Phil Simms fan ever since uh, he first came from college. Phil is, is a good quarterback. He's, he's a competitor. He's got a great arm. He's healthy. He's a, he's a winner. Phil had a great first quarter and a half in the second quarter. Uh, he threw the ball well. He led the team well. He had good rushing, a good passing. He mixed it plays well. I think that Phil Sims has always been my favorite. Show tonight, he's ready to play in 86. And we'll take a look at some of Phil Sims' first half highlights. Watch this pass to Lionel Manuel. You'll see the play. He drops back after the take to Ruzon, just throws it up over the top and lets Lionel Manuel run underneath it and makes a great outstretched leap, diving for it. Great concentration here at the goal line. Try to do that in your backyard someday, folks. <laughs> touchdown, Lionel Manuel. That's a 42-yard touchdown pass, capped off a 68-yard drive for the Giants who led seven to nothing. Then a real good 81-yard drive. Giants mixed it up very nicely, running and passing, and capped it off with a touchdown pass, Sims to Bobby Johnson. Absolutely, you'll see it here in a second. One of Phil Sims' better passes. Right over the linebacker, drops it into Bobby Johnson, who's cutting across. Watch this pass, right between the linebacker and the defensive back. Bobby makes a great catch, and he does run well with the ball when he catches it. You see Lee Rusan, Mark Bavaro coming back to make blocks for him to allow him to get into the end zone. Nice play, nice catch, nice run by Bobby That's Johnson. That's right. Now, in that drive, 81 yards, 11 plays, some good running by Maurice Carthon and Lee Rusan, and good blocking, particularly on the right side of the line by the Giants. I keep bragging about the offensive line. I really am serious. Carl Nelson is big, he's strong, he's, he's good. Chris Goffrey's also good. When they want the big yards, they usually go to the right side of the line. I, I just kind of noticed that last year with Joe Morris. Lee Rustan is a good big back, big, good uh, ball carrier. Uh, you're seeing uh, him take advantage of the big blockers on the right side. Maurice Corthon is a great blocker. He's running well tonight. The Falcons came back late in the second half after some giant uh, miscues on the special teams. Sylvester Stamps with a fine punt return set up this touchdown by the Atlanta Falcons. Cliff Austin carrying. You see the run on the right side here. Casey Merrill's blocked. He's cutting back, picks up the block on the tight end here, cuts back and inside. Kenny Hill blocked out. Cliff Austin, touchdown. That made it 14 to 7, and again, a couple of mistakes hurt the Giants. A short punt by Brian Wagner, the uh, backup punter, and then uh, again, a, a pass interference penalty on the part of Ted Watts set up first and goal at the six yard line. That's right, a very gutsy call by the Falcons, which got him down to the goal line on the pass interference. Here you see it, Dave Archer dropping back. 
sees his men are covered, comes out of the pocket, looks for the open man, here everybody's scrambling for their life, trying to find open holes. Sylvester, Sylvester Stamp, who had a great first half, is the guy who finds a hole. Touchdown, Falcon. Okay, so that's where we stand at the end of the first half of this first preseason game. Giants and Falcons are tied 14 apiece. We'll be back with the start of the second half in just a moment. Thank you. 